Welcome to the GX Dad channel. In today's video, I want to talk about storage systems and specifically a storage system that I'm going to be building. So why would I want to do a storage system? What I'm finding is a lot of times when I go out on camping trips or even on little day trips, I'm spending a lot of time and energy just trying to access all my gear. And I wanted to really streamline that, incorporate some lean principles and get that back to where I can enjoy the actual trip I'm going on rather than trying to find what I'm looking for. So with that in mind, there's a lot of systems that are on the market right now that you can go out and buy off the shelf. But I'm choosing to build my own here largely because I want something custom tailored to my own application that's also going to incorporate some other things like this electrical aspect and also this water aspect. So on top of that, the price of these ones that are you can buy off the shelf are much higher than I'm willing to spend and for a lot less money. I can make my money go a lot further and incorporate a lot more factors that I'm not going to be able to just purchasing it off the shelf. So with that in mind, let me get into some of the components that I'm using for this design and I'll go through the build and at the end I'm going to go over the final walkthrough of the full, whole design. So stick around. So for one of the first components that I wanted to include in the design is a fridge slide. I wanted to be able to access the fridge really quickly and be able to slide it out for access. I have a 55 quart fridge that um, I bought a long time ago. And this one I actually decided to buy off the shelf rather than building myself. It's going to save me time and the quality of this is spot on with what I want. So I figured I could save a little time and go ahead and purchase this part of it and have a really high quality product. On to the next part of the design here. Um, I'm going to utilize these heavy duty locking drawer slides. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little platform that slides out. So rather than using drawers, I'm actually going to use a container system. Um, I think the benefit of a container system is that I can fully load all of these containers and just plop them into the car, keep them loaded all the time or bring them inside to load them. The other thing is when I'm unloading, I can just put this back in the garage and it really streamlines the whole packing and unpacking process and really reduces the risk that I'm going to forget something. If it's already packed, that's going to save me a lot of time. So I'm going to try this as a container based design and specifically for the containers, I thought I would splurge a little bit. I got these JDM HKS containers. These are really cool containers and they just happen to fit exactly to the dimensions that I needed in my storage compartment. They fit with the water tank, everything, the fridge. So I got four of these to include, so I'm really excited. That's just gonna be a, maybe one of the fun parts of the design. So got these cool HKS containers. They run about $60 a piece, which price-wise compared to some of the other overlanding um, containers, it's really not that bad. I think the Front Runner Cub and Wolf Packs run about 40, 50 bucks. So this is right in there and it's just kind of a cool JDM flare that I wanted to include. So now moving on to the actual construction of the storage system. What I decided to use is this extruded aluminum um, framing. This is the 2020 series. It's about three quarters of an inch um, thick and it's really, really strong and really, really lightweight. You connect them together through these different, there's a lot of different types of connectors you can buy. So hidden ones, brackets, um, all the T-nuts. So I really like the versatility of the system and I chose that this was a good one for the, the cost and the really the strength that I'm looking for and the weight of the design. Another option I looked at was using one inch square tube aluminum that the easy tube, you have the press in connectors that came really close. It really came down to, I wanted the versatility of being able to move things around a little bit more in the design. So I chose the um, T-slot, but if you're looking at building one too, check out the easy tube. These are the components that I'm using in this build. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and start building. So stick around.
doing all that construction, I have the final end product right here. I had to go through a few changes while I was building it, but in the end, I got what I really wanted. So let me go through the different features. First thing is I have this fridge slide here. It's a locking fridge slide. It allows me to access this fridge without moving everything that's on top. So that's a big convenience right there. Moving on to the storage aspect, I have this IKEA storage box. This is a large IKEA storage box that I actually found that fit just perfect with the dimensions I was looking for. It was only $14, so I could put all the larger items that don't fit in the smaller boxes. Moving on to the heavy duty locking drawer slide I made here. This is a nice locking drawer slide and it houses the HKS boxes for my storage container system. There's four boxes here easy access and I really like being able to access again everything without removing everything on top finally up here I have a shelf on the shelf I have it fits perfectly for my stove and I can put any other small items up here along the shelf and here on top is perfect size for my folding table that I use for picnics and camping so everything else can go on top and the nice thing is because everything's on top um, I have the ability to access everything without removing everything there. So it really streamlines how I access my equipment. It makes camping a lot more fun and efficient. Now let's break down the costs for everything that went into this build. Starting with the actual storage system, the frame, the material, the fridge slide, the heavy duty locking drawer slides, and all the hardware came out to be $612. Moving on to the storage, um, boxes themselves. I used the HKS boxes which were a little bit more expensive plus this IKEA box that came out to be another $255. That brings my grand total to be $867 which I think for $867 I got everything that I wanted in this system and got to customize it for all the equipment that I actually wanted to use. So I really think that building it myself I got a lot of things that I really wanted for a lot cheaper price but you can always buy one off the shelf and customize it from there too. Let me know what you think about this build if you have any other ideas. Hope you find this information helpful. If you do, please like this video and subscribe to the channel and thank you for your continued support.